Hello students from eighth grade, this is teacher Rodrigo and we are studying English phase 3, week 14. I uh, want to tell you that we are studying unit number 6, healthy habits. So please, if you haven't elaborated the unit, elaborated in your notebook, please. Healthy habits is the name of the unit number 6. Also, the topic that we will study this week is the following. Healthy food and good healthy habits. Once again, healthy food and good healthy habits. That's the topic that we are studying this week. Before that, I would like to show you this word. Healthy in Spanish means saludable. Yes, that's healthy. Okay, healthy. And food, you know that it means in English. Okay, that's food in English. So, you say healthy to say that something is saludable. The opposite of healthy is unhealthy. <clears throat> so, healthy means saludable. Unhealthy means no saludable or poco saludable. Yes? So, healthy and unhealthy are opposites. Okay? So, healthy, saludable. Unhealthy, poco saludable or no saludable. Yes? So please try to remember that because those words, uh, those are words that we are studying this week. Okay? Just remember, healthy, unhealthy. Healthy, unhealthy. Remember those words. Acuérdese de esas dos palabras que son opposites, opuestos, y que vamos a estar usando esta semana for English. Okay? Healthy, unhealthy. Okay, now. First, before we try to work on the guide, let's have a general overview of it, okay? Antes de empezar a trabajar, vamos a ver una vista general. En the activation part, tenemos la food pyramid, okay? Tenemos que identificar cada uno de estos parts, no, de las food pyramid. Y sus grupos, I mean, y, y los, la, los alimentos que componen cada grupo. After that, in the presentation part, tenemos un reading. Casi toda esta semana vamos a estar practicando reading comprehension. ¿Qué es eso? Pues son lecturas y vamos a responder preguntas o hacer actividades relacionadas con lo que hemos comprendido de la lectura en inglés de esos paragraphs. ¿Ok? Lo mismo aquí más adelante. Tenemos otro reading paragraph. ¿Sí? Yes. Tenemos otro párrafo de lectura en inglés. Y tenemos que contestar questions como estas relacionadas con lo que hemos leído en el paragraph anterior. ¿Ok? Lo mismo acá, vamos a responder questions, vamos a responder preguntas in English. Yo le voy a dar una guía, una, una ayuda, so that you can answer, ok? Para que ustedes puedan ayudarse a responder. And after that, tenemos más questions in English, que usted va a responder in English, por cierto. Tenemos un project, un proyecto de healthy food, ok? Un menú saludable, healthy menu, que tiene que hacer usted. Con su breakfast, desayuno, sus snacks, los, el lunch y dinner. ¿eh? Desayuno, almuerzo, cena. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Okay? And finally, in English, en su cuaderno, va a escribir un parágrafo de lo que ha aprendido de healthy food in English, por supuesto. Okay? So, let's go back to the presentation part. Here. Activation. Con el objetivo de explorar sus conocimientos acerca de los tipos alimentos haremos el siguiente ejercicio para identificar diferentes grupos de comida ok instrucciones observar las imágenes de alimentos en la pirámide alimenticia están divididos en grupos so each one of these are groups this is a group another group another group another group another group there are five groups of food ok so you have to Right here, ahora que has identificado correctamente cada grupo de alimentos, escribe ejemplos basándose, ejemplos basándose en la imagen anterior y agrega los propios ejemplos. So, for example, here F is for fats, yes. P is for protein, yes. D is for dairy products. C is for carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, ok? Carbohydrates. F is for fruits and vegetables, ok? So here are the names. Fats, protein, dairy, 
carbohydrates, fruits, and vegetables. Listen and repeat. Those are the groups of the food pyramid that we're studying. Fats, fats, protein, protein, dairy, dairy, carbohydrates, carbohydrates, fruits and vegetables, fruit and vegetables, okay? Now, in this part, you have to write examples of those groups of food. For example, here in the fats, you have oil. Let's see some more examples on fats. Here on fats, you can write, for example, see, these are examples of fats. You get oil, you get, for example, chocolate, yes, chips, candy, cookies, those are fats. So you can write here, besides oil, chips, yes, cookies, yes, chocolate, whatever. Now, in protein, you have to write examples here of protein. You have beef. One more example besides beef on the protein group is the following. Protein. You, for example, can write bacon, beans, beef, which is already there, eggs, fish, nuts, nuts, I'm sorry, nuts, chicken, yes, those are proteins, you can write it over here, yes, besides beef, you can write chicken, yes, fish, and things like that, dairy, dairy products are products that come from milk, yes, dairy products are products that come from milk. For example, besides milk, you can find in dairy, besides milk, you can find cheese, butter, yogurt, ice cream, sour cream, cottage cheese, milkshake, wiped cream. So those are examples of dairy products. Those are products that come from milk you get milk cheese cream yogurt and so on carbohydrates you have to write examples of carbohydrates some examples of carbohydrates are the following these are examples of carbohydrates pasta rice bread okay those are carbohydrates. Write examples of carbohydrates. Yes, pasta, rice, bread, okay? Those are carbohydrates. Fruits and vegetables. You have to write examples of fruits and vegetables. For example, here I get some fruits and vegetables that you can write there. See? These are examples of fruits and vegetables. If you want, you can take a screenshot of these pictures or you can ask me to send it to your WhatsApp if you need more, I mean, if you need more examples of that, okay? So you have to write examples of each group category. Let's continue in the presentation part. A continuación, leerás un breve artículo acerca de healthy food. Lee y conecta las dos partes de las oraciones presentadas. Attention. Lee y conecta las dos partes de las oraciones presentadas. So, you have to read, leemos, you have to read this part, y luego hacemos this part, connecting this side with this side with an arrow, con una flecha. Just an example. Okay? Let's see the first example. Healthy food is tasty. See? Healthy food is tasty. Okay? You can find grains, you can find grains, see, where is it? You can find grains, you need to grow, you can find grains in bread and rice. You can find grains in bread and rice, see? You have to connect this side with this other side. Now let's continue. Practice. 
El énfasis en esta lección es reforzar la lectura en inglés, de acuerdo al indicador de la glosa 6.11, por lo que practicaremos más lectura en inglés. ¿Yes? Práctica. Instrucciones. Esta es la historia de Pizza Wizard, el mago de la pizza. Lee cuidadosamente su historia y contesta las preguntas de comprensión. Recuerda que estamos practicando vocabulario relacionado con healthy food and good eating habits. Good eating habits in Spanish means buenos, good, eating, uh, hábitos alimenticios. Eating habits. Buenos hábitos alimenticios. Yes, good eating habits. So, let's continue. Let's, have to, let's read the Pizza Wizard paragraph and answer the question. Leemos el paragraph de Pizza Wizard and answer the questions. Okay? Here. You have to read. I am Pizza Wizard. Here. I am Pizza Wizard and my favorite food is pizza. I eat it twice a week at my favorite Italian restaurant nearby. In fact, I like pizza so much that I learned to cook it myself. I cook pizza four times a week and I invite all my friends. I could eat pizza all day and all night. Ok? Attention here, porque algunas de las preguntas, I mean, porque las preguntas, todas se responden con information que está aquí. Ok? Vamos a poner un example de cómo responder these questions in English para ayudarte. Yes? Let's see the example. What's here are the questions? Aquí están las preguntas. Answer the following question. Responde las preguntas. What's his name? His name is Pizza Wizard. What's his favorite kind of food? His favorite kind of food is pizza. Where does he eat pizza? He eats pizza at, and you write, you, you still escribe. How often he goes to his favorite Italian restaurant? You still escribe la respuesta, yes? So here, aquí te he ayudado un poquito, escribiendo el inicio de las respuestas, so that you can write the rest, para que usted pueda escribir el rest. Después de tomar un screenshot a esto, you can take a screenshot here. And here, you can take a screenshot of this so that you can get some help over it. Okay, so that you can get some help on how to solve that. Let's go back. Cuando ya terminemos de responder esas questions, based on what we have read over here, basado en lo que ya leímos en este lado, we continue to this part. Practica dos, here. Practica dos. Instrucciones. Lee la frase entre comillas y contesta las preguntas acerca del Salvador y decide si nuestra comida es saludable o no y por qué. Attention. Lee las preguntas, contesta las preguntas acerca del Salvador y decide si nuestra comida popular es saludable o no y por qué. So, aquí tenemos la frase entre comillas. The French love their wines. The Mexicans love their tacos. The Italians adore their pasta. Ahora respondamos la question. What are the most popular foods in El Salvador? De nuevo, vamos a hacer a ver aquí cómo poder responder. What are the most popular foods in El Salvador? Esa es la question, la pregunta, and the answer. The most popular foods in El Salvador are. Y usted escribe el resto de respuestas, ¿sí? Yes? Remember that our foods in El Salvador, they have no English translation. For example, pupusas is the same as in Spanish. Yes, pupusas in English is the same. Tamales is the same. Yes? And so on. Now, the siguiente question. Are they healthy food? Yes, no, why? ¿Son saludables? Sí, no. ¿Por qué? De nuevo, vamos a darles el inicio de la respuesta. Are they healthy food? They are not healthy food because... Ok, aquí yo le puse que no son healthy. Pero si usted cree que son healthy, le quita esto. Y simplemente dice, they are healthy food because... Attention here. Because... Because significa por qué. Se pregunta por qué con why. Y por qué, la respuesta, because. Yes? Why? Because. ¿Por qué no son healthy? Because, por qué. Yes? And you continue the answer. Usted continúa la respuesta. Now, next question. Practice. Instrucciones. Ahora corresponde hablar sobre tus conocimientos sobre healthy and unhealthy food. Contesta en tu cuaderno en inglés las siguientes preguntas. Let's talk about you. 
What kind of foods are bad or unhealthy for you? Okay. What kinds of food are bad or unhealthy to you? Y ahí contesta. Las foods que son unhealthy to you. Okay. Next questions. What kind of foods are good for you and why? Attention here. De nuevo encontramos the word why. Remember, why means... Okay. This is why. Now... If you have to answer, you have to write because. En la respuesta escribimos because. Porque because means. Okay, estamos dando una reason, dando una razón. Let's see some example. Here, what kinds of food are good for you and why? Example, vegetables. Here is the answer, la respuesta. Vegetables are good for me because. Y ahí empezamos a escribir nuestra respuesta. Because they are healthy, because they have a lot of protein, because they provide carbohydrates, and see. Now, next. Do you think you have healthy eating habits? Why? Why not? ¿Tú tienes healthy eating habits? Why or why not? Respuesta. Here. Le diré inicio otra vez, mire. I think I have healthy eating habits because... Y usted cont you continúa. Yes, you continue with the answer. Once again, estas questions, estas preguntas, son basadas en tu conocimiento, ¿ok? Tu conocimiento lo vas a poner ahí en English, ¿ok? Estas respuestas no las vas a encontrar en ningún otro lado porque tú tienes que hacerlas, ¿ok? You have to do them yourself, ¿ok? A diferencia de las anteriores, como estas del Pizza Wizard, que la respuesta de answer was in the paragraph, The next questions in the practice are in your own personal experience, okay? Las respuestas están en tu experiencia personal, okay? Remember, you have to write in English. You can get help from me, of course. You can get send me a personal WhatsApp and I will be happy to answer your questions. And also, you can look for the translation in Google Translate. That's, that's okay. Now, production. In the production, you have a project. Here. Observa la siguiente imagen. Ahora tendrás la oportunidad de crear un menú saludable para cada tiempo de comida, incluyendo refrigerios. Snack. Snack, refrigerio. De acuerdo a lo aprendido en esta guía de autoaprendizaje. Okay, so you have to write a healthy menu. Okay, un menú saludable. For breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, yes? For breakfast, you know that it's breakfast in Spanish, yes? Lunch in Spanish, yes? And dinner in Spanish, okay? And these ones are snacks, okay? In Spanish, this is a snack. <coughs> so you have to create, design a healthy menu, un menú saludable. So in order to, to know how to make a healthy menu, we are going to watch a YouTube video which will help you see a healthy menu. Okay? Para ver comida saludable que debe ir en nuestro menu. Let's watch these videos.
Okay, that's uh, an example of a comparison between junk food, comida chatarra, and healthy food, which is uh, comida saludable for your body. Okay, now let's watch another video on how to create healthy plates. Your Let's sandwich see. for dinner that's healthy and tastes good? You can follow the plate method. This healthy eating plan works for everybody, including people with diabetes. Indeed, making nutritious, healthy meals will be a snack. What's a healthy plate? It's a way to control your serving sizes where you don't have to count. Simply use a 7-inch plate for children and a 9-inch plate for adults. First, divide the plate in half and fill one of them with vegetables. There are two types of vegetables. Starchy, like potatoes, corn, peas, or plantains. And non-starchy, like zucchini, jicama, cucumbers, carrots, or salad. If you have diabetes, fill half your plate with non-starchy vegetables. Then fill one quarter with whole grains or starches, like brown rice, corn, beans, or whole wheat pasta. In the other quarter, add some lean protein like tofu, grilled fish, or chicken. What about adding a side of tortilla or bread? It's hard to resist, I know! <laughs> the trick is, serve yourself a smaller portion of the other starches on your plate instead. To complete your meal, Add a drink like unsweetened coffee, tea, or a glass of milk. But remember that drinking eight ounces of milk affects your blood sugar just as it would if you ate another tortilla or a slice of bread. Or you can also choose water with a squeeze of lemon or lime. How you create your plate is up to you. You have many options, as long as you remember to follow these healthy guidelines. And ta-da! You're all set! You might be thinking, how can you use the plate method to make vegetable beef soup or other meals? Simply follow the same idea. Fill your pot with low sodium broth and lots of healthy vegetables like corn, cabbage, zucchini, carrots, and onions. And some lean beef, but not too much. Just like you'd put on a quarter of your plate for each person you're serving. If you want, add your favorite type of bread on the side. And you've got the right amount for a healthy meal. Mmm! Mmm! Enjoy! Okay, so that's the video that will help you solve the project that I am showing you here in the guide, okay? Remember those things that you have learned as you have watched in the video and you can create your own dish, I mean your own healthy menu with a healthy breakfast, a healthy lunch and a healthy dinner, okay? Finally, you have to write here, evaluation. Escribí un párrafo de 6 a 8 líneas, in English of course, acerca de los hábitos alimenticios saludables que has aprendido y aplicado en esta guía de estudiante, okay? So you have to write here, you write in English, escribimos in English, un paragraph de 6 a 8 líneas about what you have learned, sobre lo que has aprendido, on healthy eating habits, okay? Summary, en resumen, first, escribimos aquí los nombres de los groups in English, you know, fruits and vegetables, carbohydrates, dairy products, proteins y fats. Aquí ponemos examples de cada uno de sus groups, ¿ok? Ya se lo mostré en pictures. Luego tenemos readings, tenemos dos readings. En el primer reading leemos y luego conectamos the sentences here, una con la otra, based on what we have read, de acuerdo a lo que hemos leído. En the second reading, the pizza wizard, el mago de la pizza, en the second reading, lo mismo. Leemos aquí the paragraph in English y respondemos in English. Aquí te mostré examples de cómo puedes empezar tus respuestas, ¿ok? Te dije que le puedes tomar a screenshot this part so that you can get some help and answer correctly. ¿Ok? Here. Here. You can take a screenshot of that. Next. Después de Pizza Wizard, after Pizza Wizard, tenemos questions in English, preguntas en inglés, que no están en ningún lado de answers. Tienes que contestarlas tú mismo, ¿yes? Tienes que hacerlo yourself. 
Y aquí te di algunas ideas de cómo contestar. Here. Yes. You can take a screenshot of this part too para que te ayudes a contestar. Las respuestas are not complete. Solo te hago el inicio. Yes, you have to finish the answer. Now, next, in the last part, lo mismo. Hay questions y tú tienes que contestarlas in English. ¿Ok? Lo mismo. Igual te he dado un inicio here. Puedes tomar a screenshot here. You can take a screenshot here. Le he dado un inicio. But you have to complete the answer. ¿Ok? Y finally, tienes que escribir un para, perdón, hacer un menu, un healthy menu, con la comida de breakfast, lunch, dinner, y por supuesto los snacks. Ya te mostré one video, el segundo video que te mostré, can help you prepare your own healthy food, ¿ok? And finally, ahora sí, escribimos un paragraph in English de 6 a 8 líneas, 6 to 8 lines, uh, telling me what you have learned through this uh, English guide, ¿ok? If you have any questions, you can send me a WhatsApp and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Okay? Bye, guys, and see you around.